blind spot alert. If the throttle So I do have throttle. It's just I don't have this right here, the U connect. All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be doing the PCM swap. So I'm gonna take this and uh, pull it out. My dad is gonna be helping me out. So back in like the 60s and 70s, do you ever think hot rodding would be swapping computers out no. and stuff? <laughs> it's not a very hard installation. That said, it's very uh, awkward because of the spacing and everything. Uh, now, before I kind of get into the PCM, I just want to say thank you to those that continue supporting this channel with, uh, you know, channel memberships and the super thanks and all the other ways of kind of donating to the channel. It really has uh, helped this channel. The videos aren't really doing as well as they used to. And so, you know, the, the super thanks and all that other stuff really does help the modifying process. Now, when you first open up your PCM, uh, they give you a warning and this is really, uh, kind of confirming that if you go to the dealership and you do any kind of PCM swap, they're gonna know, okay? So you may not have a trouble code on your dash, but when you when the dealership plugs the device into the OBD2 port, uh, they're gonna see that your car was messed around with. The other uh, piece of paper is the actual installation directions, and throughout the video, you'll see that I'll be following along with this. And then, I chose a package where I take my stock PCM out and send it back to Diablo. And how that works is basically they send you an unlocked PCM and inside the box is a return label. So basically after the installation, put your stock PCM back in the box, return label on and you're, you're good to go. So uh, you have 14 days from the day that you receive the PCM to do the installation and get it back. So um yeah so you know what i'm gonna pull this thing out and then we're gonna get it going all right so step two right. remove the original pcm this is this is pretty easy i'll hold this you can okay yeah hey give me the thing just show me what you just point it all right just make sure the um yeah, covering the uh the speaker. Right. Yeah, I gotta take this out somehow. This was the difficult part that I had last time. Yeah, you can yank it on the wires. Wouldn't that be a good idea? I wonder if I should take this off. Uh, to do this. Mm -hmm. I got it. I got it. This is the top one. do the bottom one it's just it's just awkward that's that's all it is it's not a complicated thing <clears throat> so you you lift this you pop this open and then with a screwdriver you could just peel this off I need both of my hands gray gray so got the top bottom out This is the new PCM. So the only difference right now is this one's unlocked and this one's locked. Meaning if I go and try and tune that, the computer will not accept it. This one, I can load up a tune and it'll be just uh, the same. So, all right, so step three is to take the bracket off of that and put it onto the new PCM. So back in like the 60s and 70s, 
Do you ever think Hot Rodden would be swapping computers out no. and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> you used to work on your cars, right? So I have to send that back to Diablo, that one. So reinstall the negative battery terminal. We don't have to screw everything in just yet let's let's reconnect the negative battery see if everything turns on right. if that if it doesn't run right then we'll Yeah, I'll give you milk in a minute. Turn the ignition onto the run position or press the start button twice without hitting the brake. Okay. All right. Turn the ignition off. So the problem is my Uconnect is not working. What's the problem? Blind spot alert. If the throttle... I do have throttle. It's just I don't have this right here, the U connect. Hold on. Dad, the Uconnect needed to load back up. Yeah. So I, the uh, Uconnect needed to boot up, boot up or something. Yeah. 